Not bad at all. It did sound like a switch from laughing to crying. Hello guys, I'm Andres from Wise Workflows. Welcome to another video. And in this video, we're going to be checking out 11 Labs' newest feature as of now, which is AI Tech to Sound, aka Sound Effects Generator. We're going to be playing with a few prompts to see what we can get out of this new exciting tool. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Alright guys, so first things first, in order to use this sound effects tool, you're going to need an 11 Labs account. So in case you don't have one, I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you guys can subscribe. And you also need to keep in mind that this tool is in alpha right now, so you'll need to request alpha access to use it. I will leave a link for that in the description too. But uh, in order to request alpha, you're going to need a paid 11 Labs account. So a few things to keep in mind there. So let's go ahead and jump into the sound effects test. We're going to test different sound categories. We're going to go for specific sounds, ambient sounds, some music tracks, and finally we'll end with some paralinguistic sounds. I have my prompts ready here. So let's start with an ambulance siren. So uh, something to take into account is that each generation costs 150 characters and we'll go on, we're going to need to wait a few seconds until it finishes. As of, as of now it is taking uh, more than what I think will take in the future. Uh, we can attribute that to the fact that it is a new tool and uh, there are probably a lot of people trying it right now. So anyway, we have our five generations here. So each uh, generation run will generate five different sounds. Let's go ahead and play the first one. That's not bad at all. Let's try number two. Yeah, that's pretty good too. Let's go for number three. As of now, the first three generations sound uh, pretty similar from each other. Let's go and check out number four. Okay. We got some variation there. Let's check number five. So not bad at all. I think all five were pretty good. Let's try now a person. I'm sorry. A person wearing boots walking on a wooden floor. Let's see what we get from that. Let's wait a few seconds until the generation is done. All right, we got our generation. Let's play number one. Not bad at all. Uh, those sounded more like light steps, but uh, I think it was pretty accurate. Let's play number two. Yeah, that sounded better. Let's go for number three. Not bad. Let's go for number four. Okay, so as you can hear, we do get some, some variation uh, within generations. Uh, let's try number five. Yeah. This one sounds pretty different from the other four. Okay, so as you could hear, the specific sounds uh, were not bad at all. Let's now go for some ambient sounds. 
let me grab my prompt here we're going to try ambient sounds of an indoor gym you can hear the sounds of weightlifting, metal gym weights, handling and light crowd chatting let's wait a few seconds alright we got our five generations let's play the first one that was not bad at all it did sound like an indoor gym let's go ahead and try number two okay so uh, that was a shorter variation I guess let's try number three quite good, quite good as well let's try number four So that sounds like uh, someone hitting a heavy bag or something like that, I guess. Let's try number five. Yeah, I think number one and number five are probably the best ones. Uh, let's go and try a new prompt. Let me grab it. So we'll go, we're going for cloud forest ambience, uh, sunset, bristling crickets, insects, and bird howls. Let's see what we get from that. All right, here we have our five generations. Let's play generation one. Okay, not bad. It was pretty accurate. It did sound uh, a bit metallic at parts though. Let's go for number two and see if it improves. Okay, that one was much better in my opinion. Let's go for number three. Pretty good as well. I think it was even better at that, that number two. Let's go for number four. Okay, not bad. Shorter version though. And finally, let's try generation five. Okay, so definitely, uh, as you can see, it's uh, hit or miss uh, with some prompts, but uh, we, do, we did get a, a couple of good ones. So now let's try some music. We're going to try a cinematic tribal war drums epic trailer mix. So that should be interesting. Let's see what we get. All right, let's play generation one. Okay, that was pretty awesome to be honest. Let's go for number two. Not bad at all, not bad at all. Let's try number three. Yeah, that was quite good as well. Uh, I did like more uh, the first two. Let's try number four. Okay, that was more like a, a drum short riff but uh, we could use it for uh, for some some type of short sound effect I guess let's try number five yeah not bad so uh, one two and five were the clear winners here now let's go for stadium guitar rock this one should be interesting as well Let's see what we get. Okay, let's try generation one. Not bad. Let's hear number two. 
Yeah, they are shorter uh, guitar riffs, I guess, but uh, they do sound pretty good. Let's try number three. Let's see number four. So I guess we could get uh, longer uh, versions of this uh, sound by going a bit more detailed when when trying our prompts, but uh, they did sound good, they did sound good. Now let's try some paralinguistics. So paralinguistics, if you don't know, uh, are basically voice sounds, uh, but not specifically related with uh, words. So let's go ahead and try this one. A drunk Santa Claus laughing with his classic ho 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 laugh. So this should be funny. Let's see what we get. Okay, let's play number one. Mm, not bad. Let's try number two. Okay, that did not sound like Santa at all. Uh, let's try number three. That did sound like a drunk laugh though. <laughs> let's try number four. Well, that one was good. <laughs> Let's try number five. Okay, uh, those were pretty funny. Let's um, let's replay number one. I think this one was the best. Yeah, not bad. Uh, I would have liked a longer version, but uh, as I did say, this is hit or miss. So in case you don't get uh, something uh, usable uh, within the first five generations. You can always rerun the prompt and you will probably get something different. Now let's go for a bipolar man switching from laughing to crying back and forth. All right, let's play number one. All right, uh, that was not bad, but it did sound like it was more than one person, I guess. Uh, let's go for number two. Well, I think that one was cut short. Let's try number three. Not bad at all. It did sound like a switch from laughing to crying. Let's try for let's try number four. That was not bad at all, but uh, it did sound like it was more than one person. But uh, I think that one was the the, the most accurate, at least uh, from the first four. Let's try number five. <laughs> all right not bad at all i think uh, the winner is probably number five all right guys so as you could see on here this tool does show a lot of promise in my opinion i'm excited to see what kind of improvements 11 labs makes as the tool goes from alpha to beta i do think this will become a pretty solid alternative for sound effect libraries and I'm pretty sure that we're going to see some uh, very interesting features implemented in the coming weeks or months, such as API access, uh, sound effects settings to play with uh, duration and stability maybe. But uh, as I said, this is just on alpha. These tools has just been released, so time will tell. Uh, so uh, that's it for now and see you in the next video.